So hello ladies and gentlemen, in today's video I'm actually going to show you what happens when you know a little bit of M. So what we're going to do is expand the capabilities you have for filtering columns in Power Query. Let's get started. Okay, so now you probably know this. When you are filtering columns in Power Query, the same way as you do in Excel, if you have a number, you'll go here and you will get number filters. So filters that have to do with numbers. If it is text, you will get text filters equals does not equal contains and if you have dates you will have obviously date filters that you know everything is according to what field type it is that's why it's so important one of the reasons that it's important to have field types to your columns but you're not limited to only these ones you can add anyone you want into this and i'm going to show you how this is very 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 cool so the thing that I always do, because I never remember any M syntax, I actually have Power Query help me. So let's say that for ship name, we want to have all the names are, are less than 12 characters. Obviously, you don't have this option in here. You might most likely would create a custom column and then delete columns. Check this out. So what we're going to do is, for example, text filters, just so it helps me write begins with, because that's the easiest way for text, and then put A. And then it will write here the basic code for you, which is table select rows, and then blah, blah, blah. So this is the thing that we need to modify in order to get whatever we want. So we said text length. And I'm going to go here and substitute that for length. Sheep name, you have to obviously remember the syntax for the function, just Google it. And then we said it was smaller than 12. And count the parentheses, and it will do it. You can put anything that you want into those, into this part of the each to get what you want, to filter the columns what you want. I have actually shown you how to do like replaced by in one step. I will post the link down below to that video, it's super cool. Another thing that you can do, let's say that you have here, for example, date. You have the ship date, and then you have a parameter with a date. So you want your users to enter that, for example. And you want to filter by that. You want to only ship dates after this date that is in here. So this is what you can do. It's super cool again. So you go here, again, make sure that you have Power Query, write the code for you, the initial code. I'm just going to pick a random date. I don't care. And what you need to do is to, again, modify this part, get rid of it, and then write the name of the parameter. This is so cool. Look here, date. And not equal, but we said bigger than, right? And that will go and give, you, give us the days that we want. I mean, you can do absolutely anything if you know a little bit of him. Um, and you can extend this filtering by absolutely anything. I yet have to find one that does not work. So up to now, everything has worked for me, but who knows? Give it a go. It will allow you to do things a lot faster in Power Query without creating all these custom columns. Nothing bad with that, but it's just, you know, more straightforward approach. So if you want to check another example, as I mentioned before, I do have a video where I show you how to do, you know, replace values, like multiple replace values in one column. The approach is the same, so go and check that out. It will open up the things that you can do in Power Query. So I will see you again in the next video.